Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. Last time around we did quite a bit, right? A lot of story development last time. Um, and so today what we're going to be doing is seeing if we can advance even further. And perhaps, there we go, perhaps get our broom. That would be nice because I've heard that once you get the broom the game really opens up in a huge way. And allows you to travel around and do stuff. Also keep in mind, <clears throat> we now have the ability to open the eyeball chests. And am I not mistaken that there was an eyeball chest up here? Um, or maybe not. This is a locked chest, wasn't it? Never mind. I thought there was an eyeball chest up here, but I guess I'm wrong. This is the bell puzzle up here that I could not figure out. No matter what I tried, I couldn't get the bell, like, into the right position to do it. Because, see, there's bells there. Action. Where did it go? Where the hell did it go? How would I get the bell into that position when you can't walk over there? See, it goes too low. And then I don't know how I would get it high up enough to go right there. You need another spell. Is that true? You need another spell? Is that true? Is that why I couldn't do it? You don't have the spell for this puzzle yet? Alright, thank you guys for telling me. Do you remember all the time I tried to do this last that, that time and I couldn't do it? So thank you for telling me so that way I don't waste my time on it like I did last time. Is one of the uh, eyeball chests up here? There's a big chest. I seem to remember an eyeball chest. But maybe I misremember. I think I am. Because don't you then... You jump into one of the frogs. Yeah, you teleport over there. I don't think that there's a... Uh, I, I'm probably misremembering. I think there was a different chest here, but it wasn't an eyeball chest. Okay. Or right, we'll go back. You get it later? Alright, we'll have to go back there later to do it. Okay, um, good stuff. Let's get out of here. And, uh, well, actually, what do we want to do next? I'm, I'm trying to remember where we were last time. Let's take a look at our quests. Well, guess what? In today's flying class, Madam Kagawa is reviewing basic broom flight and maneuverability. I would say we're about to get our broom, no? So I almost feel like we should do that. Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maxima and endurance potions and use them simultaneously. And we have all these different side quests. Use the mountain floating candles to find a treasure. Collect Cressida's flying books in the library. Find enter the hidden herbology corridor. Find the Daedalus keys, five of 16. Go to a goblin camp for a side quest. I think we should get our broom. What do you guys think? I think that's what we should do. I mean, we've been waiting a while. That's, that's like a key thing to being a wizard is getting your broom and being able to travel around. So I think that's definitely what we should do next, for sure. <clears throat> okay, we'll do that next. We'll do that right now. Um, but in the meantime, I received what appears to be a very generous contribution. I received a $50 tip from Missouri Lover. What's going on, man? He says, it's been a while. I can finally attend your Hogwarts stream. Awesome, Missouri. I haven't seen you in a long time on stream. I'm very happy to see you. Welcome back. First of all, thank you for a very generous tip. 50 bucks. And that gets us up to 55 and climbing. That means it's Gunner Glasses right off the bat. <clears throat> Just as we're starting up with gameplay today, let's go ahead and uh, play your animation as well for that. Thank you so much. And then we'll see what you have to say. Uh, here it is. Very good. Love it. <laughs> okay. Smudges. Let's clean those up. I'm cleaning my ja my glasses, Jasper Kitty. Gotta get those smudges off so I can uh, see through them. It'd be pretty counterproductive if they were dirty and I'm trying to play a game, huh? All right. Love that song. I don't know what the name of that song is. We've heard it in many different things before, but I like that classical song that's playing in the background. Okay, now. 
So Missouri Lover says, uh, I can finally attend a Hogwarts stream. I'm off today. I'm a little further than you. I've been playing it as much as I can. I love the game. I've been enjoying your playthrough as well, so I keep up with the good vibes. You can do stealth takedowns while invisible. Oh. Keep an eye on feats in the bottom right during combat. Doing them gets you extra experience. Oh, okay. See, we're just we're just getting to the point where there is combat. So that'll be interesting to keep our eyes peeled. I had no idea there was even stealth in the game. Like stealth takedown stuff. That's interesting. Okay. Shia says, if you want areas to focus on, stick to the main story, gold, and pro professional assignments, which are white. That way you can make progress in the story and spells. The others you can activate and do along the way. It's by Chopin. Chopin did this song. Cool. I like it a lot. It's calming. Relaxing. All right. So the bow puzzle is for later. For some reason, the bell is ringing and making noise. I don't know why. Because I didn't do that. But anyway. <laughs> let's continue. Let's, uh... Let's walk through the school. If we happen to find any um, of those locked eyeball chests, like this one literally right here. Holy crap, hold on. Here we go. Look at that. 500. Does every single eyeball chest have 500 gold in it? If that's the case, I'm probably going to make a lot of money soon. Because there's quite a lot of those around, no? I think I play in the bongos or whatever. Okay. So I think that's what we should do is we should focus on uh, flying school for now and then see what else we can do. Okay. Chopin. It's a nice song. All right, here we go. Now there's no music. You know what? Isn't this the first time we've been in here at night? I feel like it is. This was the, this was the optional quest we did. The moving picture. Remember that? Oh, did we not do this one? Lumos. Where is that? We didn't find this yet, huh? Hmm. Gotta look for that. A lion or something? I don't know. I don't know where that would be. We'd have to find the window. And I don't even see a window anywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, who knows? It's definitely through one of these doors, but... Don't know which one. There's no windows down here, so this can't be it. I like the lighting. Look at how good the lighting is, dude. <laughs> now that it's at night, it's like really nice lighting with this uh, Lumioso, right? Casanova, I hope this gets into the Game Awards this year. It would be a shame if they don't if they think it's bad. I don't know how they could think it's bad. Again, if they're objective. Oh, we're, we're not going to award this game anything because uh, J.K. Rowling's involvement. She has no involvement. So, they better not pull that shit. By the way, here's a ghost. Is this a classroom? This is some kind of a classroom we haven't been in yet. Revelio. Oh, look. Histor History of Magic Windows. This set of stained glass windows features Merlin, the four Hogwarts founders, and various other witches and wizards of the ages. Interesting. Andrew says you'll start getting quests from Sebastian when you advance far enough in the story. Those are really important to do. Okay, thank you. Thanks for telling me. I will definitely do the Sebastian quests. Anything else in this room? I don't think so. I'm just kind of exploring a little bit here. Okay, can't even go through there. Level one lock. All right. <clears throat> and a nice ghost. Can't talk to the ghost, which is a shame. I like to talk to the ghost. See what he's up to. So far, I don't see uh, where to do this puzzle. It's supposed to be a window next to like a, a, a lion. Which I'm not Revenue. seeing a window next to a lion like anywhere. Right? So I have no clue where that is. Nope. That's a lock I can't get through. Okay. Let's go outside. Go to flying class. Jade says, Jasper, say hi to us. I love this. Jasper just left. I don't know where he went. He just went in the hallway. So I'm not sure where he just went. Oh, do you look at this? There's rings. You probably got to fly through them for flying class. Those weren't there before, right? They must have been set up just for flying class. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. 
Of course, flying class ain't going to be at night. They're probably going to have us change the time to be daytime now. Yep, wait. He just stands there till the morning. He doesn't even sleep. It's amazing. Okay, let's do it. Let's start flying Everybody class. Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. Let's do it. What's my level? I don't know. 16, something like that? I don't know. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Mm. The goal of Hello. today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. Why? Why do they fly on this brooms, fear, of all things? Some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or, in fact, tolerated in this class. <laughs> we'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it? No. Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say, up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Again, why brooms? Up. Why fly on brooms? Of all things you could fly on, why a broom? Thank you. Maybe because it's just so convenient. Now, it's like oh, everywhere there's turn. a broom. You can just grab one. Up. Up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom. Huh. Oh. Oh. Up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my Wait a minute, wouldn't this kill your nuts? Ground yourself at once. There's no saddle on the broom. Wouldn't you be like destroying your testicles doing this? Good. Look at now that! Dude, it's right on his balls. How could he possibly do this without killing himself? Are you kidding me? This is total testicular destruction. <laughs> How could you possibly do this? There's nothing to cushion the balls. What is this? <laughs> Dude, he must have two big balls, and he's, he's, they're so big and saggy, he can separate the balls. So the broomstick goes between the balls, and they're hanging around like saddlebags on the sides. <laughs> oh, my God. You know how painful it's got to be? <clears throat> the saddlebagger. Okay, here we go. Fly through the rings. <laughs> oh! Don't make any sudden moves. This is brilliant. Ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh! Wow. Yikes. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well Oh, yeah, acclimatized. Easy for you to say. You got nothing down there. <clears throat> what are we doing? This next Hold right trigger to go faster. Oh no. For more of a challenge. What a view. What a view. Hello. Hello. Hey, nice hey, Philippe, how's your balls hanging? You got that testicular torsion around the, uh, the broomstick? <laughs> Wish you could have experienced. Oh, me like balls are all tied up in me niggas. Ooh. <laughs> me balls are clacking together like perpetual motion machine. <laughs> As you're flying. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jeez. They must need like complete. They must sell a whole line of ball protecting stuff Whoa. at oh, like uh, oh jesus what is that was that a kraken <laughs> i think that was a kraken anyway um they so totally must have uh like so all kind of line of products to protect your uh -huh. testicles Brilliant. like the girls got it easy man the guys are like ah yeah talk about a strong win a strong up up updraft Knocks the broomstick directly into your your nutsack, and now you're you know. Have a moment. <laughs> Yikes! I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. 
I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Duel of the Brooms! We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like Ravenclaw? you might be interested Ravenclaw. in making an escape from House. class? I like the sound of that or won't we get in trouble? I like the sound of that! <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Oh, great. We're getting in trouble. Follow closely now. I'm in big trouble. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having what? tea What? What does it mean you can't enter what mountain? Enter what? I wasn't trying to enter anything. I was trying to fly. This is pretty neat, by the way. The, the flying controls nice are pretty good. Above, it's all, isn't it? Yeah, the controls are actually quite good. They did a good job with this. Ahead of the garden. I'm surprised. The like, I'm not sucking. I can actually control my guy pretty count. well, right? Bit claustrophobic for my taste. Woo! How is ever flying so quickly? He's got yes, a rocket in his ass. He ate a lot of beans and he's farting. <laughs> Watch this turbo nitrous boost! Yeah! You get a speed burst with left trigger. <laughs> now that's more like There we it. go. Oh, you maybe this is what those balloons are for. Maybe you have to hit the balloons. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. So, this is pretty cool. The and view is now, nice. That's a bit of solid. How about the Quidditch? Uh, the Quidditch field. Can we go to that? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. The music's also awesome. Woo! What was that? This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. This is nice because now you can tour the whole campus, right? You probably see all the stuff from all the different angles. Look for hidden quests and items. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Oh! Mount here. And where have you two been? Uh oh. She's gonna kick your ass. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each oh, of you no. for not following my instructions. Hefty points. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Tee <laughs> Class is finished for the day. JD did a super chase. Is more As ball jokes, you. please. Oh, there'll you be tons more ball jokes coming in this playthrough. Trust me. It's my specialty. Chin up. That mm. was some rather good flying. That was some rather good flying. One thousand demerits. <laughs> Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. <laughs> I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home. Yeah, but your house probably doesn't feel that way, and if asshole. If you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around and melt. What a selfish bastard! He's Kagawa's <laughs> favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. <laughs> Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitches in Hogsmeade. Spintwitches. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. The eye in the sky. All right. So perhaps we can buy a broom now, and then we can do some overworld travel. That'd be awesome. I just hit level 17 and earned a new talent point. Wow, I'm also belching uncontrollably. It's pretty disgusting. Sorry about that. We have the cabbage eating stuff. Look at that. I wonder what that stuff is on the right-hand side. We don't have that yet. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> Okay, um, I guess we can't fly right now, right? So we have to check out our quests, I guess. Oh, oh, we have a lot. In the shadow of the undercard, I could probably find Sebastian's usual spot near the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom or the Room of Requirement. Professor Weasley requests that I meet her in the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. An odd location for a meeting. I wonder what she wants. Huh. Okay. And then we have this one, a Professor Sharp's assignment. Acquire and use a Focus Potion... Acquire Maxima and Endurance Potions and use them simultaneously. Now, wait a minute. I 
I can make a Maxima potion right now. Right? But I don't have any. I have to I have to craft it. How do I craft it? Do I go to potions class? This is a Duris. I need a mongrel fur. I don't have a mongrel fur. Okay, I can't do that yet. Okay. The shadow quest is one of Sebastian's important quests, okay? Hmm. I can also try some of these. But I almost feel like with the broom, these would be easier, no? I guess this one has nothing to do with the broom. This has nothing to do with the broom. A hidden herbology, herbology corridor? Demanding delivery. Speak with Perry Pippin. Potions. Potion delivery for Pippin. Appearances in gold. How do I, uh... I guess I should do the main story quests, huh? I guess I'll just keep doing them. Can you go to Hogsmeade? House of Knights says go to Hogsmeade and buy a broom first. Can you even do that? Let me see. Like, where would you buy your broom? I don't know where you would buy it. Oh, here's a... Follow the butterflies? I overheard Clementine talking to herself in three broomsticks. She mentioned something about a swarm of butterflies. Uh... I guess we could try this. I don't know if we could do this yet, though. We could try it. Let's see. Last time we were there, wasn't it locked? Wasn't the, the broom store completely locked? You couldn't buy anything? I guess even if it is, we'll look at this other quest that's there. Because there's another quest there. Here I come. Oh, by the way, now I can open... Oh, God, the graphics are slow. Whoa. Did you see that for a second? Oh, yeah. The frame rate was crapping out. Is this one of the invisible chests? Revelio. I think there might be an invisible chest that I can open. Oh, no, it's locked. Never mind. Never mind. Here's the side quest. There's probably invisible chests in this town I can open. But where's the broomstick place? It's to my left. Right here? Nose, Bingle, and Blatch. Oh, I've never been in here. What's Bingle and Blatch? <clears throat> Rebellion. There's like no one in here. Empty. Light the fire. It's weird. It's an empty place. What the hell is supposed to be in here? I stole some money, but I don't see anything else in here. Dengar says, we literally unlock the spell. Fool of my enemy, fool of my enemy. I can't wait to fool out my enemies. Jasper's back. Uh, now it says it's behind me. How could this be? Snitch's sporting needs. It claims it's directly behind me. How nice to see you, my young Where? What are you talking about? It says directly in front of me. It's this building? I guess it's open now. Ah, new face. Wonderful. Revelio. Ah, it's this. Spit, spint Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Interesting. Hold on, Albie. I got something I have to open here. A plum sorcerer hat. That's crappy. Albie, why do you have all these chests I could just rob? It's not a very Rebellion. efficient business model, I'm just saying. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come yeah. in. Shop's True. been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. 
Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Damn straight. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Good. <clears throat> Very good. Let's, uh... Let's see. I'll have a look. Just with the trade routes. Eh, let's just Sounds buy something quite first, right? Brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? First of all, can I sell? Yes, I can. What is this? Offense? Unspecified head item? But it says that it's going to be a lower rating than what I have. I might as well just sell it then. Nice doing business with you. Sell anything that says it's too low. Damn, I can sell a ton. Oh, this is higher. I should equip that then. All right. Now, what do I want to buy? Ember Dash Broom. Hogwarts House Broom. Moon Trimmer. Wind Wisp. Or you Weaver. I'm not supposed to sell unidentified stuff? I don't care. I'll get more. Yeah, this kind of game, you're always going to get more loot. Um, Moon Trimmer? How about Moon Trimmer? Now, let's get this one. Wind Wisp. I like that. Wind Wisp. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Okay, I bought a Wind Wisp. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. Hmm. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Oh, you can no, buy enhancements right for your broom. You can you. upgrade it. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. Uh -huh. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect oh, the upgrades. Oh, he wants me to test his As untested happens, tech. Another Hogwarts mm. student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work so on my race, first upgrade. This is Melda Reyes from my school. She's she's from uh, or from your house. She's from Slytherin. All right. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It will be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard, and I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Jasper, what Once are you, you doing? Once you beat time, you be sure to let me know. What are you doing, silly kitty? He's being very inquisitive. He's looking all around, messing with stuff today. <clears throat> so it says Hogsmeade and other areas would prohibit flying. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Hmm. So I can't just fly around willy nilly. They won't allow me to fly here for some reason. That's kind of a bummer, right? We got another new quest. Yeah, look. But then it's... Yeah, I wanted... To, there's a bunch of... Oh, my God. There's a bunch of side quests in town now. Look at this. There's two different side quests we can do. What's this one about the butterflies? Track the quest? See what this is while we're here. How do you fly? They didn't even explain it, did they? They never said... Oh, shit. They never said you could just, like, take off. Left bumper plus B. I'll say it again. Can't thank you enough. For I had the courage to go into the forest. Almost What's going on here? Clementine Willardsley. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine Willardsley. Charmed. I don't even remember her. I was musing <laughs> on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest. Not me, I, I do what I want. horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, 
but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find that, Shh, could I you? I didn't make it up. You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Sure, another quest. We have a million Very quests well. now. <clears throat> if I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Ooh, Jasper, with your Students wet nose, you got me. Have so Surprised much more me. courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. You can usually find me right around here, drunk as hell, rolling Don't on the floor, barfing. The flies always seem to be on the fringes of the forbidden. Place. Can't go too far. There's the other quest too, right? Is another one. There's this this one. The potion guy. We'll talk to him too. Let's get all the quests, right? <clears throat> and if I run into any of those those eyeball chests, we'll do those too. Rebellion. I know there was a lot of them in town earlier when I was investigating, but now of course I can't see them. Right? Where the hell could they all be? Is that one right there? <clears throat> oh shit. Yeah, they're all 500 gold. That's a lot of money, because I saw a bunch of them in the game, so it's going to be quite a lot of money, man, once we open them all. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Revelio. So he's got a quest for us. Uh, hope of the delivery. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. <laughs> But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. All right. I'm also going to see what uh what he sells. Maybe he can sell I'd me the potions I need for that delivery. challenge for You've the teacher. You have no idea how grateful I am, truly. Right. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in a her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you'd like to take a lot of looks at things that she has. What can I do for anyway, you Anyway, potion recipes. What is it that I need? Focus potion? That's the one I need, isn't it? I think it's focus potion. So I bought oh, wise it. wise decision. Thank you. Uh, stench of the dead spider fang leech juice. Oh, I need a mongrel fur. I needed a mongrel for her to craft that other potion. In fact, hold on a second here. I hope to see you again. So now I have what I need to make. Well, I have an endurance potion. I have what I need to make the Maxima potion. This is the focus potion. Yeah, I, I need to make that too, and I have that. So I actually have everything I need to make everything that I need for the quests. Right? I just need to go brew them. So do I have to go to potions class to do that? Because I don't have anywhere else to brew potions right now but the class, correct? So I guess I should go to potions class. And get those done. Because that's the side thing for the teacher, right? Alright. Let's go back to Hogwarts. And where the hell is potions class? Potions class! Oh, wow. Okay. There, I found it. Went right to it. <clears throat> oh, I received a tip. I received a $20 tip from One Minute Man. What's going on, One Minute Man? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for your daily support of my content. I really appreciate that. I also appreciate you coming by yesterday when I wasn't even broadcasting on this channel and still tipping. I really appreciate that. Uh, that gets us up to $75 in tips so far, everyone. So... We are only $25 away from the Slytherin hat. If we haven't hit $100 on today's stream, I'll put on the Slytherin hat, uh, which I got just for this playthrough, okay? 
So thank you very much, One Minute Man, and anyone else who'd like to contribute, thanks in advance. I appreciate that. All right. <clears throat> oh, really? When I get a room of requirements, you can then grow and brew potion and brew your own potions. Oh, that's interesting. So you can do your own in your own room later. All right, so here's potions class. Where's the one that I can use? Uh, right here. So I need to make... Uh, which one do I need? The Endurus? I don't have Endurus, right? Well, I definitely need Focus. Let's do that. It's only a minute? Oh, we'll just chill then. It's only a minute. We'll just wait for it. Have we hit 100 likes? We have. Thank you guys for the engagement today. The 100 likes means I have a celebratory bubble blow. Thank you all. Here we go. That was kind of a lame bubble blow. There we go. That's much better. Very nice. Thank you guys. Uh, Jasper's watching all the bubbles go all over the place. <laughs> so, so, something weird. Uh, Kat and I were watching someone else with their playthrough of this. And they claimed that the music's getting claimed in their playthrough. I've put out 11 hours of gameplay of this game. And that's, nothing's been claimed at all. So, I don't know if the person's lying to their audience. Or if I just got lucky. But I've had no problems with the music in this game at all. So I'm not so sure what's going on there. Why someone would be complaining about music getting claimed when I didn't have... I always get it. Like, I'm, I literally am always the person to get my shit claimed, and I didn't. So. Okay, um... So we need... We definitely need... Is it an Adurus or Maxima that I needed to brew? I think it was Adurus because I needed the Mongrel fur, right? This one's only 30 seconds. I turned on streamer mode. This game doesn't have a streamer mode. This game does not have a streamer mode. At least I don't think so. I don't think I put it on. For going with something about getting Last of Us Remake Deluxe Edition? What's goes what's in the deluxe edition? I mean the game's the same as the first game anyway with better graphics. What could the deluxe have? <laughs> okay, there we go. So we got, I think we have what we need, right? Let's double check for the quest. What, what is the quest again? Acquire and use a focus potion. Acquire maximum and Edris potions. Use them simultaneously. Okay. Oh, it says I don't have a maxima potion. I need to make the maxima. I made the wrong one. This is the one I needed. Okay. Oops. Andy Young says, I currently have 60% of all the collectible pages in Hogwarts. It's addicting. I also only have to find three more keys. Yeah, it is addicting. And the thing is, it's kind of all over the school. So as you're running around doing your other stuff, you know, you can easily just do it. So it's not like it's, oh, it's, it's, it's such a departure from playing the game to do it. It's out of the way. It's actually not, you know. <clears throat> She says I should just use them in battle and don't waste them to complete the quest. Why? I could just get them later. I could just remake them later. No, I'm, I'm, I want to get this quest done. We're doing it right now. Ready? There you go. Wow. That's interesting. And then we got to do the focus potion. There you go. Excellent. We did it. Okay, now we can attend postage class. Oh, cool. Let's just do that. We're literally right here. Might as well do it. Nice. <laughs> what is it we get? I think it's so we get a new spell. Look at that. Bright purple. Bright purple spell. Or bright purple potion, excuse me. Being stupid. 
Careful with that chest of potions. Return to Professor Sharp, see what he has to say. How are your assignments coming along? I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to oh, pulso. D pulso? Let's see what you can do. What's D pulso? Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Okay. Here we are. D pulso. New spell. You've what got is it? it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should. Perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Oh, look at this. Okay. Let's do it. Let's uh, set this a D-Pulso. D-Pulso. Repels many types of objects and enemies with considerable force. Although it deals no direct damage, enemies and objects alike can be launched into each other with destructive results. Uh, also useful for pushing and spinning objects and a variety of purposes. Oh, cool. <clears throat> All right. Boom. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Slap the books around. It's a force spell that pushes enemies and objects away from the caster. Well, repetition can be an excellent teacher. <laughs> He's like, all right, stop. Just stop doing it now. You're annoying. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your Wait, help. Wait, oh, this is the follow up from the Sharp first wasn't class, isn't too it? too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Yeah, I'm expelled now. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. I wonder if doing that quest gave us anything. Like, will it give us more quests later on because we helped him? <clears throat> also, can I rebrew those potions and use them in combat later? Right? Like, no, oh, no, no, I guess not. I could rebrew these. Let's rebrew those two. You always says, if I got a question, if someone donates the last one's remake, would you play it? Because I'm thinking about doing that. Right now, I have zero plans on playing it, nor do I have any time. I would say later this year, when we get to the point of the year when there's not a lot going on and new releases and you're interested maybe during downtime, then I would consider it. Right now, I would say do not donate because I don't even know if I would have time to do it. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't want to accept a gift that I couldn't take advantage of. I feel kind of, I don't know, disingenuous, you know? <clears throat> Focus potion, all right. It's a minute. <clears throat> then after that, what should we do? We got probably story quests. We'll see. We'll see what else is available. Or maybe we could go talk to that wizard, Ismelda, and, and do the races. I think you have to race her, Ismelda Reyes. What's the next big game coming out on the 21st? So that's next Tuesday. We've got both Atomic Hearts and Like a Dragon Ishin. They're coming out on the same day. So it's a two for one kind of a day. Uh, and then after that, I'm not even sure. I haven't even looked. I have to look after that. All right. Keep it for when I'm going to play it. Here's the thing. Again, I don't want to do that. What if I never get to it? Now I, fe now I feel bad. Like, there's a story, like, over a decade ago. Okay. Uh, the Arid Lord. Uh, you know, longtime fan and viewer of mine. You know, I'm sure he's doing other things now. I haven't seen him in a long time. He he at, he decided he was going to lend me the <clears throat> Jack and Daxter HD trilogy, all right, for PS3. And at the time, I was like, I didn't think anything of it. I said, yes, I'll accept it. And what happened is I only played, like, one of them over the years. Then many years later, I played the other. And ever since, there was always, like, pressure. Are you going to play them? Are you going to play them? I'm like, well, no one wants to see it. I'm not interested in it right now, right? And then eventually, I just had it. And he was like, dude, just keep it. You had it for so long. Just keep the game. I don't care anymore. And I was like, yeah, but, you know, maybe we shouldn't have done it that way. So now I'm always skeptical. If I'm going to accept something, I'm like, nah, let me make sure that I'm actually going to use it before I accept it. Because then it ends up sitting around and I feel bad. You know what I'm saying? Flight test. Here's the room of requirement. Should we do that first? If it means that we can do... What's conjuration spellcraft? 
and a conjuring spell? I don't know what that means. Let's do this. Let's just see what this is. The room of requirement. Let's see what this is. Go for a walk. No, I've always said it two pictures of Angelica. The room of requirement. You need to learn to pulso. The banishing charm. I did. Useful for pushing objects or adversaries away. What? I already did this. Complete the required tasks and meet me in my classroom. It's saying press love bumper and B, and then you can jump on your your I've broom. I've forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? Well, this is out of order. I already did it. Some illicit <clears throat> spell practice. Rebellion. Let's get to the dark arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. The Sebastian thing's Please new. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. This is weird that I got the messages after I already had the quests, right? It is a little weird. <clears throat> Sounds good, Kagome. Sounds good. He says maybe during the summer. Sounds good to me. Captain DCW said did exactly the same thing to me, so I guess it must be something with the ordering the game is Rebellion. all. Rebellion. Huh. It's fine. It's not a big deal, but... little little immersion breaking. Oh, he's getting chased. That's right. So the guy's getting chased by the, the one ghost getting chased by the other ghost. That's it. Whoa! All right, we're gonna meet Professor Weasley. Learn about this room of requirements. Rebellion. Uniform. It was great. And then meet me in my classroom to learn Defindo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut Oh, off. this is a different can one. Be a powerful weapon when needed. Defindo the Severing Charm. So we learned we got another new one. Let's take a look at that. We just got the quest, I guess, right? Yeah, look. Acquiring use an invisibility potion. Wait a minute, don't we have one right now? Acquiring use a thunder brew potion against enemies. Wait, I could buy that too. I could totally go back to the store and buy the Thunder Brew, and we already have the infinite the invisibility from a quest. So we could kind of cheese this quest and never have to brew it. Alright, I think we should definitely learn. Let's go let's go meet Professor Weasley and see what this is first, right? What's up, X Shooter? How you doing? He says he's still enjoying the playthrough. I'm glad to hear that. And he says, I'm sure if you've already heard it, and you're one of the entrances that lets you go outside, and there's a, a painting with a star symbol upon it. Use the four spell picture, opens up like a door. No, I don't know about that. Ash Tokies do this, and if you do this, you get a room where you can start making your own potions and stuff. Sounds like a plan. And that's what we should do then. The room of requirements. No, it's Peeves. Run. Run. No. No, not Peeves. Anyone but him. He's the most obnoxious idiot. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> not Peeves. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Oh, secret door. Secret door. Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. The secret room. Dead Island 2 is coming on April 21st, says Team Heavy. Oh, okay. I'll have to look into that later. I don't even know if I'm interested in it, honestly. Look at this room. What is this place? Huge. This is the room of requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Huh. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. <laughs> While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? Hey, look, it's the room of requirement, and it's full of junk. 
Deke, <laughs> Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom. Oh, your first Deke. Day. Deke the Thought house elf. She might help you use the room once you've found it. Jane is loving this. Me too. It's, it's fun. I'm having a good time with it, man. It's relaxing. It's interesting. <sighs> There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs. Vanish? Now, wait a minute. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs. Is away. this not a very dangerous spell? Couldn't you, like, vanish things into oblivion? Right? What does it mean to vanish something? I don't know if I like that. Sounds like the mafia's gonna whack it or something, right? Well, I just vanished half the town today because they were pissing me off. Evanesco, that asshole. Right? Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Okay, we gotta assign the new spell. Uh, Evanesco. Turns Moonstone with, when cast with the room within the room of requirement. Eh? What that means, but okay. Depulsa. That was the wrong spell. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. Where do they go? We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. What, uh, yeah, where, where did they go? We worked with some other dimension or where something? Or name is that did you turn them into molecules? Or Like, what happened? Everything in the, in the universe seems to have an explanation. Goodness. That one did not. It's like, ah, you just warped it away Your or something. Like, what? Well, huh? I wondered where that had got to. Her old Can't school bag. Still here. What's this? I'll just take a quick look. A, I waited for you, you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you expected. Let me know if yes, you want Professor. to try to meet again. Sincerely, T, A, and T. Who could that be? Well, she's distracted by her old school bag. <gasps> Dear me. <clears throat> Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. I didn't do it. You're the one who's next to a jack-in-the-box, stupid. Greetings, Cheerio Eater. How are you? She was good, Arkham. Having fun. Enjoying myself. As I just warp things into non-existence. I don't know why she would just give a kid this spell. It seems like it's way too powerful, but okay. <laughs> <clears throat> seems weird to me. Do anything with these eyeballs? So what do we do with this thing? We can climb up it, but I don't think we can go up here, right? They're not gonna let me. Nope. Repair. Not a repairo. Where did it go? What the? What the hell? It disappeared. What? It completely disappeared. Did it reappear over here? It did. What happened? Why did it disappear? Can I go up here? Oh, crap! You can go all the way up there. That's crazy, like Spider-Man. I don't think you can jump that high. A worn Quidditch uniform. That's crappy. Can you make it float? Let me answer. You can. Can you jump on it when it floats, I wonder? What's this? Oh, it's just a teacup. Arkham, can you tell me what's happening in the story? We have learned the ability to fly on a broomstick, and we bought a broomstick. And now we've been summoned to this room of requirement, which apparently is a special room. We're going to be able to do some stuff, but we don't know what, what yet. I hope this so isn't we're just as precarious exploring as it, it looks. The room of requirement. An intruder! Stop them! <clears throat> no, not... Uh, that's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin! Fell apart. Nice. Not 
right. Prune that bush that's somehow growing here with no nutrients whatsoever. Duh. Is Thunder Gary in the game? I have no idea who Thunder Gary is. Never heard of him. Here we go. Bit offered the room. Thought I needed a bath cheeky thing. Huh? <laughs> Someone told you you needed a bath? Sultane. Got a lot of nice floating uh, red lamps. Look at this. To both of them. They're immune to magic, apparently. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? Maybe they don't. Maybe that's the point. It's a house elf thing. A harp? A nice harp. Here. Akio! To both of them. Shit. No, can't go there. Oops. Huh. It wouldn't work at first. Had to be a certain distance for it to target. That's interesting. What was that? What was that? Was that a golden stitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Some of these paintings are assholes, huh? Akio. Uh, what's the point of this? How do I get this through? I hear the snitch, but how would I... How would I get over there? Is there a way to climb over? Or around? Gotta be a way to get around, right? Gotta think there's gotta be, right? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Levioso. You can't put Levioso on a box you're already on. Oh, yes, you can. Oh, I fell off. I was gonna say maybe I could use that to jump over, but then you seem to fall off. Oh, never mind. Jump. Oh, come on. Jump! Oh shit. Akio. Let me open. Well, this isn't working. Is there another place to jump over? It looks like this is the right way to do it. You gotta use the boxes, but how? I can't stack the boxes. That doesn't seem to work, because I can't get this box out of that area, right? I don't think you could go over the front. The front looks too steep. Hmm. Looks like this is what you're supposed to do, but it's not working. Huh. Let's try from outside. There's a chest in there. What the? Wait, what? What just happened? What? I didn't mean to do that. I pulled the chest to me. But isn't there also one of the, the, the keys in there? I did not mean to do that. Pfft, I don't think that was supposed to happen, honestly. Let me open. I 
I don't know. Depulsa. Levioso. No, see, the key is in there. See? The key... Well, no, maybe it's not. No, it's over there. It's totally what? over there. The key is over there, but how do I get over there to activate it? I can't jump over these walls. They won't let me. Look. The uh. By the way, I got another tip, and I'll shut that out in a second. Thank you, whoever that was. <clears throat> That's the golden stitch. It's just bait. You can't get it. It's the golden stitch, an entirely different thing. Oh, you mean from um, from Quidditch? Oh, that's the Quidditch stitch. Oh, all right. So what is it? Just like an Easter egg reference, I guess. <clears throat> oh, okay. All right. I received a twenty dollar tip from an anonymous tipper. Thank you, whoever that is. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the uh, c contribution and the support of the stream today. Hope you're enjoying Hogwarts. Certainly an interesting game. That gets us up to 95 because we're $5 away from the Slytherin hat. <clears throat> so, five more bucks for Slytherin. Thank you very much. I guess it's a good time to split the part. If you guys are still watching On Demand on YouTube, remember the many ways that you can support DSP Gaming in this playthrough. For example, liking the video, leaving comments on it, uh, a super thanks perhaps, a tip if you take the description of the video. All that's greatly appreciated. And thanks for your support of this playthrough so far. All right. <clears throat> 